Something we did? No. Something else. A dead giant. Why would the serpent leave us here? Look! Freya. We can still trust her. Certain. Keep a distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. There! I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you to... How, how I feel? How I feel? <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. Oh, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk. Vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. <clears throat> this again? No. 
Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! No! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> What is that? <laughs> I can feel this. <sighs> oh, I can feel everything. <laughs> He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. She's controlling that thing? Stay out of it. I can reason with him. No, woman. You cannot. He means to kill you.
them! Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Uh, ironic, isn't it? What? Help yourself. 
can you, mother? No matter what, what I do or say, you won't... You won't stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. No. No. We can. Because I will never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right, I won't stop. I know. imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. Just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. I'm from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with a god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was 
is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. We should finish this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parrot can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Oh man, the tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Okay, tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see... It's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants! Well, if things work according to plan... <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. I hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy!
A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine! Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Look! We're on the giant's fingers! I can see the highest peak ahead! Right over there! We did it! We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Giants came back home so they could survive, but I'm not sure they did.
Huh? Who's the guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Wait! Father! Something's happening! arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us! The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. Why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it.
father. No. We do it together. Son. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. Giants called me Loki. Loki. That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. She want to end up here, be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So... Why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. We I mean, missed it.
some corrupt developers out there that could be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people was part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Am I glad to see you? I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? I should warn you. More time has passed than you want to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Balder, it's become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, back to Ragnarok. From snow. Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. I'm telling you, it's Fimble winter. I can feel it in my stroke. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow, and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason? Guys? Just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my screw. Y yeah. We... we heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also... To not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Amir, what else did the serpent tell you when you spoke? It kinda sounded important. I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Don't I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the Serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. But it's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you.
Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimba winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. <laughs>